ladies and gentlemen, this is a catchweight contest, and it's a match made over a time of 30 minutes, six five-minute rounds, the best two out of three pinfalls or submissions or a knockout to decide the contest. Introducing to you in the red corner on my left, from Waterloo in London, Sailor Tug Holton. On my right, his opponent in the blue corner, from Bradford in Yorkshire, ladies and gentlemen, Les Kelly. And your referee, Max Ward. Les Kellett then, here he is, the one that this packed crowd here at the Woodville Hall, Gravesend, has been waiting for, the main bout of this afternoon's program. Holton, Tug Holton, not wanting to uh, take the ha handshake. But now Kellett's got to come out. <laughs> Extraordinary start because Holton in the leotard. For some reason, uh, wouldn't take Kellett's hand in the handshake as he was told to by the referee, Max Ward. Holton, the one with the weight here. 15 stone of him against 14 stone, two and a half. Kellett from Bradford. Holton from Waterloo, London. Holton, of course, the former very well-known amateur boxer. More about that a little later on. Arm lock now to Holton. For those who write to me and say that Les Killett is always taking on men lighter than himself, here's another example where he takes on a man nearly 12 stone heavier than him, 12 pounds heavier than himself. Now. Big boy is tackled. The double-handed toe hold hasn't really started much. Uh, and he's kidding around, playing to the gallery yet. I think he's going to be too busy. <laughs> Max Ward doing the full brunt of that stamp right on his toe, got a bit close, and roughly Max Ward not at all happy. Tug Holton waiting on his knees, <laughs> waiting for the argument to finish between Kellett and the referee. Very like to punch that first one, but the forearm smash puts Kellett down. A legitimate one. Double finger in the lock. Full Japanese triangle. Now Kellett's going to tee his man up either for a, a kick between the shoulder blades or the back elbow under the head to generally this leads to. No, he got no chance to do it. <laughs> Kelly walks back as if he can continue. He must get out of the habit of demonstrating to the referee what he means. <laughs> There's the double wrist lock back hammer to Holton. That's the three falls here. The first to get two falls or two submissions, or one of each, of course. Oh, he's 
it's released now, he's got to stand it back. Back elbow to the stomach. <laughs> Not even one, as I'm afraid. <laughs> Half Nelson throw by Bolton after following up the back elbows. Started by Kelly just now. There's about 12 seconds left in this first round of six. <laughs> As Kellett once again conveniently fails to hear the bell. <laughs> and will argue with the referee, assuring him that the bell couldn't have gone otherwise he would have heard it. Round two, five rounds to go. Les Kellett versus Tug Holton. Holton in the leotard, black leotard at the back there. They're very much taller and heavier man. With his own former strangle hold on. The one and Kellett. He may be in form of a sleeper or... No. All perfectly legal as long as he doesn't release first. Now, from now on, it's not legal. Each attacking move must be part of the same move. If you release your man, you may not continue the attack. Step, but Holton not going to fall for that one. He might fall for that one nicely in reverse double leg Nelson. And Kellett could be in trouble for a shoulder press, and he is the first one to Holton in round two. And that's what the crowd think of it as Holton raises his arm. Ladies and gentlemen, round two, the first fall of the match in favor of Tug Holton. So Tug Holton, the former amateur boxer, gets the first fall. There he is, the man who 
once fought Henry Cooper, then the ABA champion, and Dick Richardson, the Army champion, now turned full-time wrestler. Round three, Holton leading Cullet by one fall and ill with four rounds to go. And Cullet really going now. Oh, both hands on the hair. He's been taking quite a bit of treatment, so he thinks it's time for a little retaliation. Uh, but he's got a warning. Well, what do you know, he's done the referee's first public warning to Les Cullet. at work. If you want to start the punching, the, the boxing, let's go. Let's go. Holton decides not to for the moment. Stays on one knee for temporary safety. <laughs> not in a backhammer, I doubt if you're left to man the Holton's statue. And the reverse double knee hole to kill it. That gets a two. <laughs> Trying to help him up, but of course he's standing on one hand as he does it. Oh, I'm sorry, says Keller. I really didn't notice that I was standing on his hand. homeowner who could benefit from an ocean finance loan. Perhaps by reducing your monthly outgoings by consolidating existing debts, home improving or simply treating yourself to whatever you have in mind. Many already have. We chose ocean finance after seeing an advert on the television. Uh, what appealed to us the most was the fact that we had been turned down before and they said that this wasn't a particular problem. They came back and said yes you can have, have the loan that you want and that was a big relief for us because we were quite concerned at the time. Very, very helpful, and above all, they keep to their word. They were just so efficient. I mean, there was just no problems whatsoever with them at all. Ocean Finance just treated me like a normal person going into a high street bank and having a loan. Ocean consider all circumstances, and rates are competitive. So for that homeowner loan of up to £100,000, call us now on 0800 916 9120 or apply online at oceanfinance.co.uk. 
Here on PriceDrop.tv, where the price on this Black & Decker drill has dropped from £129 to 58 quid, less than half price. Price lock. It's all over, and everyone pays the lowest price of £58. Next to Maurice Lacroix watch. OK, everyone, back in 30 seconds. The price is dropping over on Channel 636, and it'll keep dropping until everything is sold. So if you want to save money on homeware, jewellery, electricals and more... 10 seconds. Isn't it time you dropped in? Pricedrop.tv. How low will it go? Drop in and shop on Channel 636. Got the urge for a bacon double cheese from Burger King? Doubly delicious with regular fries for only $1.99. Got the urge? Get to Burger King. Give me an arm, bro! Give me an arm, bro! Oh, Oh! Sarah, you're the only one for me. Uh, well, you're not the only one for her! Did Jerry Clive Malcolm think he was nice? The bloke who fixed the feeds the gas pan? He didn't just come to read the meter! Oh, I can't believe it! Oh, I can't believe it! Oh, I can't believe it! Holton was trying to trick him. He let himself be tricked, apparently, but turned the tables finally on Holton, giving the equalizing fall in round three. Three rounds to go. Seconds away, round four. Holton in the uh, leotard. One fall and one public warning to him. No. Kill it. No. One fall and one public warning to him. So one fall each now. And three to go. <laughs> Using the ropes illegally, and Max Ward trying to insist on the break. Directed the referee had gone around the back. <laughs> that flat of the hand suddenly turns into a fist. Holton's left eye must have really felt that. Again, kill it. Fools his mind. <laughs> Second and final public warning to Todd Holton. And very much 
deserved. You saw that. He wouldn't release, but five times the referee. He was straight the knee. Oh, Australian. Holding press near the ropes, standing on the arms. Holton Stroll, no, I, no chance of moving from there as long as Kelly wants to stay. But Kelly needn't stay any longer because that's a 2 1 win for him in round four. Ladies and gentlemen, by two falls to one, the winner of the match, Les Kelly. Ladies and gentlemen, appreciation for the loser, Tag Holton.